Okay, good morning. So, let us first have a review about our topic last time, which is polygons. Name the following polygon and tell whether if it is a convex or concave polygon. So, let us have three items for this. So, we have here number one. You are just going to count the number of angles or sides. So, one, two, three, four. So, this is a four-sided polygon. So, the name of this is quadrilateral, P-L-A-Y. The other name for this, you can use quadrilateral L-A-Y-P or quadrilateral A-Y-P-L or P-Y-A-L. And then the type of this quadrilateral that is a convex. This is a convex because if we extend uh, the sides of this polygon, it, that, it will not uh, pass through the points inside the polygon. Number 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is a six-sided polygon. So, the name of this uh, polygon is hexagon, F-R-I-E-N-D, or hexagon friend. So, the type of this polygon is a concave polygon because if you extend this segment, F-D, or this side, it will pass through the points inside the hexagon or the polygon. Next, number three, this is an octagon. If you will count the sides or the angles, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is octagon, P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L, or octagon person, or the other way around. So P-L-A-N-O-S-R-E, or you can use octagon, E-R-S-O-N-A-L-P. So the type of this octagon is convex because if you extend all the segments it will not pass through the points inside the polygon so i have here an activity for you to have an idea of our topic for today so we have to follow the directions in each number number one make three non-collinear points so when we say non-collinear these are the points that do not lie on the same line so, the sample for this step is this, number 1. So, we have to make 3 non-collinear points. Next, connect the 3 non-collinear points to form a polygon. So, what will happen? You are going to use a segment to connect the 3 non-collinear points. So, this is the sample for step 2. Next, draw an angle bisector of the angles of the triangle. So, when we say angle bisector, it will divide the angle into two equal parts. So, this is the sample for number three step. And then number four, connect the three vertices of the triangle using an arc. So, the polygon we create is a triangle. So, we need to connect the three vertices of that using an arc. So, when we say arc, that is the part or a part of a circle. So, that is a curved line. So, our topic for today is relationships of exterior and interior angles of a convex polygon. So, today is April 27, 2021. Let us talk about first the sum of interior angles of a polygon. So, in our exploration or in our activity a while ago, we put the vertices of the triangle together. And the operation involved whenever we put things together is addition, of course. After putting them together, we see that the vertices form a semicircle. Using an arc, we connect the vertices, so it forms a semicircle. A protractor is semicircle, that is why we know that the measure of it is 180 degrees. So based on our activity a while ago, we form a semicircle, which is a semicircle. A protractor is a semicircle. That is why the measure of that semicircle is 180 degrees. Thus, we can conclude that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So this is the figure of that uh, of our activity. So we have here the triangle and then the arc. 
So, as you can see, this is the, uh, the line segment. So, if you are going to look for a protractor, the measure of that is 180. So, our basis for the sum of interior angles is the triangle. The measure of the triangle is 180 degrees. Okay, next, consider each convex polygon with all possible diagonals drawn from one vertex. So you will just use one vertex and then connect that vertex into the other vertices. By doing this, you can actually form triangles within each polygon. Complete the table below by writing down the number of sides and the number of triangles formed from the given polygons. So this is the table. So we have for the first column, the name of the polygon, second column, the illustration, third, the number of sides, and then last is the number of triangles formed. So we have here the triangle, so illustration, triangle ABC, number of sides is 3 because that is a triangle, number of triangles formed is just 1. In a triangle, we cannot draw a diagonal. Next, quadrilateral. So, you have quadrilateral and then illustration. And then you will connect the vert vertices. So, this is the vertex F and then vertex E. Non-consecutive vertices ang i-coconnect. So, we have four sides for quadrilateral. And the number of triangles form is 1, 2. So, we have two triangles. Next is the pentagon illustration, as you can see. So, we have pentagon K, I, H, J, L. Number of sides is 5 because that is a pentagon. Number of triangles, 1, 2, 3. So, we have 3. Then, next is hexagon. Illustration. And the number of sides, that is a hexagon. So, that is 6. Number of triangles, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is 4. Heptagon, we have illustration. And then, the number of sides, of course, that is a heptagon. That is 7. Sides. Number of triangles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 5. Octagon, we have octagon M, A, C, H, R, I, E, N. So, the number of sides, octa, or 8 sides. Number of triangles form, that is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, as you can see, you, um, there is a pattern form. When, when we have the number of sides and the number of triangles formed. So, did you see a pattern on the number of triangles formed with respect to the number of sides of each polygon? So, that there is a pattern formed when we have the number of sides and the number of triangles. Since we know that the sum of interior angles of one triangle is equal to 180 based on our activity available, we can now compute for the sum of interior angles of each of the given polygons by simply multiplying the number of triangles formed by 180. So, let us try completing the table that follows. So, this is the table. So, we have the triangle of three sides. Number of triangles formed is 1, so that it will be multiplied by 180. So, 1 times 180 is 180 degrees also. For the quadrilateral, we have 2 multiplied by 180 because we have 2 triangles. So, 2 times 180 is equal to 360 degrees. So, the sum of interior angles for a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. And we, we have the pentagon. So, we have 5 sides, 3 triangles. So, we have 3 triangles form that will be multiplied by 180 so, that is 3 times 180, that is 540 degrees. Then, next, we have the hexagon, which is 4 triangles form, 4 multiplied by 180, that will be 720 degrees. And then, next, we have the heptagon, which is 7 sides, and the number of triangles form is 5, that will be multiplied by 180 so, 5 multiplied by 180 is 900 degrees. So, the sum of interior angles of an hepta a heptagon is 900 degrees. So, we can conclude that if we have the number of sides, n, this is the variable. If we do not know the number of sides, number of triangles form is n minus 2. That is the formula to get the number of triangles. 
you don't need to connect the vertices but you can use now the formula n minus 2 for you to compute for the number of triangles and for the sum of interior so from completing the table from there we will arrive to a more generalized rule in finding the sum of interior angles of a any polygon so for the polygon interior angles theorem the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon with n sides n represents the number of sides is quantity n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees this theorem is already proven based on our activity so we can use now this formula so let us have the illustrative examples number one compute for the sum of interior angles of a convex decagon so when we say decagon that is a 10-sided polygon so for the solution a convex decagon has 10 sides use the polygon interior angles theorem and substitute at 10 for n so n is the number of sides so we need to substitute 10 in the formula so we have the formula quantity n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees is equal to 10 minus 2 we have to substitute 10 in to substitute 10 with n so 10 minus 2 multiply by 180 next 10 minus 2 is 8 and then bring down 180 that is to simplify and then multiply 8 by 180 degrees so the product is 1440 degrees so that is the sum of interior angles of a convex decagon is 1440 illustrative example number two given the figure below find the measure of angle c so this is the figure you need to find the measure of this angle angle c given uh, two angles here this is a right angle and then angle h is 75 degrees angle e is 150 degrees so the polygon has five sides so this is a pentagon so the sum of interior angles is 540 based on our uh, table a while ago so we have the measure of angle c the unknown angle then plus 75 plus 150 degrees which is in the given then 90 degrees because this is a right angle and then another 90 because we have two right angles and then we need to add the similar terms the similar terms are the numerical values of 75 plus 150 plus 90 plus 90 so the sum of these numbers is 405 degrees so measure of angle c plus 405 is equal to 540 then subtract 405 from each side which is the subtraction property of equality so we have 405 minus 405 is 0 540 minus 405 is 135 so our final answer for the measure of angle c is 135 degrees okay so let us have example number number three Find the measure of an interior angle of a regular dodecagon. So, solution for this, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a dodecagon is following the formula dodecagon has 12 sides. So, we have the formula quantity n minus 2 multiplied by 180 and that substitute 12 in the given formula. So, that is 12 minus 2 multiplied by 180, simplify 12 minus 2. That is 10 multiplied by 180, 10 times 180, the product is 1,800 degrees. So, this 1,800 degrees is the sum of interior angle of a regular dodecagon. But then, we are looking for the measure of an interior angle. So, since the dodecagon is regular, when we say regular, all the measures of interior angles are equal. So, each angle has the same measure. Hence, we just divide the sum which is 1,800 by 12 to get the measure of one interior angle because a dodecagon has 12 sides and the total of the sum of interior angles is 1,800. So, you need, you need to divide 1,800 by 12 to get the measure of one of the interior angle. So, that is 1,800 divided by 12 is equal to 150. 
The measure of an interior angle of a regular dodecagon is 150 degrees. So take note of this. From this example, we can have a more generalized formula in getting the measure of an interior angle of any regular polygon. So our formula that we are going to use in getting the measure of one of the interior angle, we have the quantity n minus 2 multiplied by 180 divided by the number of side or m. This is applicable for a regular polygon. So next example, number 4. If a certain polygon sum of interior angle is 2,700, how many sides does the polygon have? So gi the given here is the sum of interior angle, which is 2,700 degrees. So the unknown is the number of sides. So if we let S be the sum of interior angles, then S is equal to quantity N minus 2 multiplied by 180. So this, this S symbolizes the sum of the interior angle. Since we are looking for the number of sides, which is N, let us manipulate the formula. So we have S is equal to N minus 2 multiplied by 180, dividing both sides by 180 because we need to cancel 180 here. So divide both sides by 180. So cancel out 180. Then what's left? So we have S over 180 and then on the right side of the equation we have N minus 2. We just simplify the equation. Next. S over 180 plus 2 is equal to N minus 2 plus 2. What is the reason? So, we just add 2 on both sides. That is the addition property of equality for us to remove this 2 here. So, cancel negative 2 and positive 2. Next, what's left? So, S over 180 plus 2 is equal to N. So, we have M here on the right side of the equation. So, transferring n to the left side, we have n is equal to s over 180 plus 2 using the symmetric property, just changing the position of the left and the right side of the equation. So, for us to get the number of sides, we have the formula n is equal to s or the sum of the interior angles over 180 plus 2. So, after we manipulate the formula, let us see the resulting equation to answer the problem. So, we have the formula N, or the number of sides, is equal to S over 180 plus 2. So, we have N is equal to, uh, the given is 2,700 degrees, just substitute 2,700 in our S, over 180 degrees, which is the constant, plus 2. Substitute the given value of the sum of the angles, that is the reason. Next, N is equal to 15 plus 2. Why 15? That is 2,700 divided by 180 that is just simplifying or simplify next we have 17 we just need to add 15 plus 2 the sum is 17 thus the polygon has 17 sides that is the unknown let's move forward b the sum of exterior angles of a polygon when we say exterior this is the angles that can be found outside the polygon. Sum of exterior angles of a polygon. So we have here the figure. We have different uh, lines. So after you put together the exterior angles of each polygon, you can see that you arrive with similar shape, which is circle. As you can see, we have circle here. Therefore, we can see that the sum of the exterior angles does not depend on the number of sides of the polygon. Unlike the sum of interior angles of a convex polygon, it will always be 360. So in this case, it forms a circle. So all polygon has the sum of exterior angle which is equal to 360 degrees. So we have the poly polygon exterior angles theorem. So the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon one angle at each vertex is 360 degrees. So that is the measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 plus 
plus the measure of angle N is equal to 360. So, measure of angle N is the last angle. Okay, let us have the illustrative examples for the sum of extreme angles of a polygon. Number one, given the figure below, find the value of x. So, we have here the figure. The first extreme angle is 120 degrees. The second is 80 degrees. So, the unknown angle is the third exterior angle. So, for the solution, we have x plus 80 plus 120 is equal to 360. The unknown is x. We are just going to add all the given. So, this is based on the polygon exterior angles theorem. Next, we have 80 plus 120 simplifying the equation. So, that is x plus 200 is equal to 360 because 80 plus 120 is 200. That is combining like terms. Next, x plus 200 minus 200 is equal to 360 minus 200. We need to remove 200 here. So, we subtract 200 for us to have x on the left side of the equation. So, that is the subtraction property of equality. You can also use addition property by adding a negative 200. Next, 200 mi minus 200 is 0. So, cancel it out. So, what's left on the left side of the equation is x on the and then 360 minus 200 subtract the numbers. So, x is equal to 160 degrees. So, therefore, the value of x is 160 degrees. That is for number 1. So next, number 2, given the figure below, find the value of x. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is a 5-sided polygon. This is a pentagon with 5 sides. So solution, we have x, which is the unknown, plus all the given measure of the exterior angle. So that is x plus 60 plus 95 plus 83 plus 52 is equal to 360 which is the total of the sum of all exterior angle of a polygon. That is the polygon exterior angle theorem. Next is, we need to add 60, 95, 83, and 52. So the total of this is 290. So x plus 290 is 360 by combining like terms. All the numbers. Next, we have x plus 290 minus 290. So, for us to cancel 290, we need to subtract another 290 on the left and on the right side of the equation. That is the subtraction property of equality. So, 290 minus 290, so cancel it out. So, what's left on the left side is just x. Then, 360 minus 290 is 70. You just need to subtract the 60 minus 290. Therefore, the value of our x is 700, uh, sorry, 70 degrees. Next, let us have illustrative example number 3. A convex heptagon has exterior angles with measures 30 degrees, 32 degrees, 45 degrees, 54 degrees, 67 degrees, and 79 degrees. What is the measure of an exterior angle at the 7th vertex? Because if we have a heptagon, a heptagon is a 7-sided polygon. So, we have seven angles, seven sides. So, we're looking for the measure of an exterior angle at the seventh vertex. So, solution, let x be the seventh exterior angle. So, that is x plus 30, 33 plus 45 plus 54 plus 67 plus 79 is equal to 360 because the sum of exterior angle of a polygon is 360. That is using the theorem. Next, we have to simplify 30, 33, 45, 54, 67, 79. The total of these numbers is 308. So that is x plus 308 is equal to 360. We need to remove 308 on the left side of the equation for us to have x only on the left side of the equation. So by subtraction property of equality, we have x plus 308 minus 308 is equal to 360 minus 308. So, cancel 308 on the left side. So, what's left is x or just bring down x is equal to 360 minus 308 is equal to 52.
Okay, so let us have the last example. Find the measure of one of the extruder angles of a regular dodeco. When we say regular dodecagon, regular, we have all the measures of the angles is equal. Dodecagon, we have 12 sides. So we have the solution. Since the sum of the extruder angles is always 360 degrees and the given polygon is a regular polygon, we simply divide 360 degrees by the number of sides. A regular dodecagon has 12 sides, also 12 angles. So, 360 degrees divided by our n, which is our n is 12. So, 360 degrees divided by 12 is 30 degrees. Hence, one exterior angle of a regular dodecagon measures 30 degrees. So, for your uh, task, this is what is more. So, for A, compute for the sum of interior angles of the following polygons. So, following the formula for this, we have number 1, undecagon, number 2, 17, gone, 332, gone, 419, gone, and 550, gone. You are going to use the formula for the sum of interior angles, which is quantity n minus 2 multiplied by 180. Next, compute for the number of sides of the given polygon, polygons given the sum of their interior angles. Number 6 is 1,800 degrees, 7 is 3,060 degrees, 8 is 3,960 degrees. You are going to use the formula which is N is equal to S over 180 degrees plus 2. That is the formula to get the number of sides of the polygon. So next task is what I can achieve. So, refer to the given figures and find the value of x. So, this is the task for exterior angles. So, for number 1, all the given angles or the given exterior angles is 95, 180 degrees. So, you just need to add 95, 180 and then subtract it from 360 degrees. The same with number 2. We have here 54 degrees. So, you need to find the measure of all the exterior angles, which is X. So, number 2 in here, it represents a regular polygon. Next, number 3, we have the given, which is 81, 3X, X, 69, and 2X. So, you just need to follow the formula, which is just 2x plus 81 plus 3x plus x plus 69 is equal to 360 and then simplify. So, you need to come up with, on the left side is x and then the numerical on the right side. Next, number 4, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is a pentagon. So, you need to add 90, 2x, 60, and 81. You cannot add 2x in here, no? So, simplify first 90, 81, and 60, and then x plus 2x. And then, subtract it from 360, the total of 90, 81, and 60. And then, simplify by finding the x. Next is what I have learned. So, read each item carefully and write the letter of your answer on the underline. So, if the first three angles of a quadrilateral measures 54 degrees, 86 degrees and 70 degrees respectively what is the measure of the fourth angle this is the interior angles so you can use the formula for the sum of interior angles next what is the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a coin which is in the shape of an octagon so when we say octagon that is eight sides Next, what is the measure of each interior angle of a regular dodecagon? The dodecagon has 12 sides, 12 angles. So, we're going to find each interior angle. Next, number 4, if the measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon is 108 which degrees, which of the following is the measure of its exterior angle? So, when we have interior and exterior, if we are going to add their sum 1 interior plus 1 exterior is equal to 180 degrees 
So, you just need to subtract the given by 180, uh, from 180 degrees. Next, how many sides does the polygon have if the sum of each interior angles is 1,980 degrees? Using the formula, N is equal to S over 180 plus 2. So, that is for what I have learned. For your reflection, write your thought about this lesson by completing the statements below or write your any idea you have learned about our topic. So I understand that you just need to complete this uh, statement and then I wish to learn more about. So thank you and good luck on doing your task. You can message me directly if you have questions about our topic for today.